assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to my channel rapid revision uh, this is Feb uh, this basically this paper is february march 2024 uh, the question is uh, question number 5 and this question is basically based on errors and suspense and i have already told you guys that this topic you should be very good at this topic because uh, in the recent past papers, if you look at the trends, in every paper you have one question on errors and suspense. So the question here says, Sunita has prepared a trial balance at 31st December 2023 and a draft income statement for the year ended 31st December 2024, which means she has calculated a draft profit. Um, then they are saying, Sunita later discovered the following errors. Uh, they have given you a certain errors here. There are six errors in total. Uh, then they are asking you to prepare a journal entry to correct uh, error one only and then the next part here is prepare a suspense account. So what I normally do is that I do prepare journal entries for all the errors because that really helps me to prepare the suspense account. It becomes very easy. So uh, just uh, let's let's start solving the errors here. Uh, the total of the sales returns journal for November 2023. So total of sales returns journal should be posted in the sales returns account, which is debited. 3524 had been credited to the purchases account. So we recorded that in the purchases account, that too on the credit side, which is wrong. So I need to debit my purchases account here to remove it from my purchases account. So if there is this purchases account and I wrote uh, the sales returns on the credit side here, uh, I need to debit the purchases purchases account. So I'll write here 3524 and this error will be cancelled off. So I'll write here purchases debit 3524 and then I'm going to record the sales returns journal total in the sales returns account. So I'll write here sales returns debit. So sales returns normally is debited. So I need to debit the sales returns account. I'll write here 3524 and then I will write here suspense on the credit side. I'll write here suspense and this is going to be 3524 plus 3524 which is going to be uh, 7048. This is my uh, journal entry for the first error here and the journal entry they are asking you to actually record, write a narrative here as well. So I'll write here uh, to correct uh, the error of wrongly recording sales returns in the purchases account so this is going to be my narration here then i need to also prepare journal entries for other errors here so the uh, the, the next error here is purchase the purchases journal for july 2023 had been undercast by 90. So normally purchases is debited. If you under add a value or you write a lower value for purchases, you need to debit the purchases account. So I'll write here error two correction will be purchases debit. And since it's the, it's the journal total that is wrong, so that means only my purchases account is wrong. So I will credit the suspense account here because I don't have anything else to credit. I'll write here suspense and that will be $90. Um, Purchases journal total, uh, if you undercast the total of the purchases journal, that means the purchases account is wrong. Uh, so that means the total for the journal was wrong. That is why the purchases account uh, had an understatement of $90. Uh, the next error here says the total of the sales journal for May 2023, 19,415 had been had not been posted to the sales account so they did not record the sales at all so now i we need to record the sales we'll credit sales here sales is normally credited normally credited so whenever you record sales you record it on the credit side and you will debit suspense in this case so sales will be credited suspense will be debited for error number three error number four here says a payment received from p metal uh, 129 had been debited to m patel so norm, if you've received a payment from P Metal, that means we had to do bank debit P Metal credit. However, we debit we debited the bank account, yes, but we debited M Patel's account, which was not correct in this case. So I'll I'll credit M Patel because I need to remove it from the M Patel account. Uh, that'll be one twenty nine on the credit side, and then I'll write here P Metal. And I will write here 129. I need to credit P Metal account. So whenever we receive a payment from our customer, right? Uh, we do bank debit and we credit a customer account. Uh, but what actually we did was we debited the bank account and we debited 
M Patel instead of you know we did not make any entry in P Mattel's account so we credit M Patel in order to remove it from M Patel's account uh, we credit P Mattel in order to record it in the P Mattel account and we need to debit suspense in this case so suspense will be 129 plus 129 which will be 258 okay error number five so error number five here is Capital introduced by Sunita 5000 had been debited to the bank account, but no other entry had been made. Whenever we introduce capital uh, and that too in the bank account, we do bank debit capital credit, but we debited the bank, but, but we did not credit the capital account. So I'll write here suspense debit because I don't have anything to debit and I will credit the capital account. I'll write here 5000 on the credit side in the capital account. Then we have error number six here. The, uh, the sixth error here says, a rent payment 500 had been posted to the rent account rent uh, expense account is 50 so this is basically simply under recording of an expense uh, in the expense account so I need to debit the rent expense account so I'll write here rent debit uh, 450 so because I wrote 50 instead of 500 so I need to debit rent account by 450 now because 500 minus 50 is 450 and we have already recorded 50 so we just need to record 450 now and we will credit suspense in this case so I'll write here suspense credit and I will write here 450 so that's it but you guys can see suspense is coming on so in so many transactions I mean literally every transaction has suspense so and that is the reason why I also made the journal entries because then your suspense account will be very very simple they are saying here prepare the suspense account include the balancing figure as the original difference in the trial balance so I'll leave one line for the original difference in the trial balance and then I will start putting the values of suspense here so in my first entry suspense is credited right so I need to record this on the credit side of the suspense account I will write here purchases I will write here 3524 and I will write here sales returns so because suspense is being credited against these both, I need to record this on the credit side of the suspense account. Error number two, again, suspense is being credited, purchases is being debited. So on the credit side, I again write purchases here. I'll write here $90. And then again in error number three, now suspense is being debited and sales is credited. So I need to record this on the debit side. I'll write here sales. I'll write here 19415 Notice in the sales account, we write suspense on the credit side. Um, uh, notice this that in the sales account on the credit side I'll write 19, 19415 but in the details I'll write suspense in the suspense account in the details I need to write sales and uh, that is it because we are debiting suspense here so in the details I'll write sales and I will debit the suspense account again we are debiting suspense in error number 4 so I will write here M Patel 129 and P Mattel 129 uh, error number five I'm going to uh, debit the suspense account again on the credit side we have capital but on the debit side now I'll write here capital and I will write here 5000 so capital is being credited suspense is being debited uh, in the last error I have debited the rent account and credited the suspense account so in the suspense account I'll record this on the credit side I'll write here rent and I will write here 450 so that is it now I need to calculate the original difference in the trial balance but um, the point here is that I need to basically uh, total both sides okay so what is the difference in trial balance so I will total the debit side here the debit side here is heavy so we'll do 14 19,415 uh, plus 129 plus 129 plus 5,000 we'll get a value of uh, 24673 so it will be 24673 and on the credit side we have 3524 plus 3524 plus 90 plus 450 which is my total of credit side this is 7588 so when I do total of heavy side that is 24 uh, 673 minus total of light side that is 7588 I'll get a value of 17,085. This is my difference in trial balance. So I'll write here difference in trial balance. So you guys need to know that difference in trial balance always comes on the lighter side because uh, whenever we need to find out uh, an unknown value from a T account, right? So you do total of 
heavy side minus total of light side. So in this case, the heavy, heavier side was the debit side and the lighter side was the credit side. So what I did was that I totaled the debit side first, I totaled the credit side and then I took out the difference on both sides and the total of this account will be 2, 4, 6, 7, 3 on both sides. So that is it. I'm going to make, I'm going to write 31st December in my date because I don't have any other option except for 31st December. So I'll write here 31st December 2023. Okay, so that is it for the suspense account. In the next part, they are saying this is very interesting. Calculate the corrected profit figures in the tables below. They've given you original gross profit as per the financial statements. Uh, that is 66,223. They want you to correct the gross profit here. So when you want to correct the gross profit, so the interesting thing about gross profit is that whatever comes in the gross profit calculation, so sales returns is part of the gross profit calculation. Purchases returns is part of the gross profit calculation. In fact, in the cost of sales section, you have purchases returns. We have sales in the gross profit calculation. We have um, uh, purchases returns in the gross profit calculation. Carriage inverse is part of the gross profit calculation. So anything that is part of the gross profit calculation, I need to highlight those things here. So basically, the first in the first error correction, we have purchases that is being debited and sales returns that is being debited. So both of this is part of the gross profit calculation. Uh, and if you debit purchases, that means you're, you're increasing your purchases, which means your cost of sales will increase. And because of that, your gross profit will decrease. So I'll write here less purchases. And I'm going to write here 3524. I'm going to subtract 3524. Uh, then we have sales returns which we have debited, right? So sales returns, when you debit sales returns, you're increasing sales returns and sales returns is always subtracted from sales. So if you subtract a greater number from sales, you will get a lower, lower net sales. So that means your gross profit will also decrease because net sales minus cost of sales is your gross profit. So I will write here less sales returns. So sales returns is also when it's debited, you're increasing sales returns and when sales returns is subtracted from sales, so that means if you are subtracting greater amount, that means your net sales will be lower. That means your gross profit will also be lower. So you need to subtract this. I'll write here 3524. Okay, if you look at the next error correction in which we are debiting purchases. Again, we are increasing purchases because of which cost of sales will increase. And then your gross profit is going to decrease. So I'll write here less purchases again. So I'll write here less purchases. And this will be $90. We subtract $90. Uh, in the next error correction, we have credited sales. When you credit sales, that means you're increasing your revenue. And when revenue is increased, when you increase your revenue, you basically uh, increase your gross profit. I will write here add sales and I will write here 19,415. So 19,415 will be added because we have credited sales. And whenever sales is credited, that's, uh, that, that is when you are increasing your revenue. When revenue increases, your gross profit will increase. Uh, error four, uh, error correction number four, number five and number six is not going to affect my gross profit. Uh, so that is it. We're going to calculate the corrected gross profit here. Uh, the corrected gross profit will simply be uh, 78,500. So I'll write here 78,500. This is my corrected gross profit. In the next part, that is part two of part C. They're saying original profit for the year. As per the draft financial statement is 28,750. So that means they have already calculated a gross profit for you. Uh, sorry, profit for the year for you. Uh, but now you, what you need to do is that you need to also correct the profit for the year. So before you correct the profit for the year, you should also incorporate what you, uh, the corrections that you have made to the gross profit. Because whatever gross profit you have, you add other incomes to it and then you less other expenses from it. Then you get your profit for the year, right? So whatever corrections you have made to the gross profit, you need to incorporate those corrections to your profit for the year as well. So I'll write here minus 3574 minus, oh sorry, minus 3524, minus 3524, minus 90, add 19,415. Uh, this is sales. This is purchases. This is sales returns. This is again purchases. And the last thing here would be that you need to 
incorporate this when you are debiting the rent account that means you are increasing your expense so that means your profit should decrease so i will write here less rent and this will be 450 other than that p p matel and m patel are not income statement accounts because you never see uh, trade receivables or trade payables in your income statement uh, similarly capital is not an income statement account so i will simply calculate now my corrected uh, profit for the year oops sorry i'll write rent here rent and i'm going to subtract 450 from here so now my corrected profit for the year will be 40577 which is my corrected profit for the year then they are telling you sunita's gross margin is 40 percent so whenever margin is given i have always told you guys that when margin is given revenue is assumed to be 100 percent so i will write here revenue is 100 percent in case of margin and gross profit is uh, 40 percent so that means uh, gross profit is 40 percent cost of sales is 60 percent so i'll write here cost of sales and this is 60 percent and now what you need to calculate here is uh, that you already have uh, you basically need to calculate sunita sales revenue for the year ended 31st december 2023 this will simply come out from cross multiplication so since we have already been given a gross profit right so the gross profit here is 78500 so 78500 is 40% so what is 100% will give you your revenue when you cross multiply you will get x is equal to 19196250 so i'll write here x is equal to 196250 which is also my revenue so that is it for this question hope this helps you guys Thank you so much for watching.